infected with this FBI virus. It's a total scam, and I'm going to show you how to remove it. I'm going to show you the easiest way to remove it, and it's going to be through a system restore. A system restore is not one where it restores your entire computer. It'll just restore to a previous date before you were infected with this FBI virus. We will have to go into safe mode. For those of you that already tried safe mode that can't get into safe mode, I'm going to show you another way to get into safe mode. And this is pretty easy, just follow me step by step. Okay, just so you guys know, I'm using um, Windows 7 here. So the first thing you want to do is restart your computer. If your computer doesn't restart from here or anything, what you want to do is just hold down the power button for like 10 seconds or whatnot, let it reboot. Once it starts to reboot, what you want to do is keep tapping on the F8 screen. And if you're using like Windows 8, there's another way for you to enter um, the F8 screen. And I will put a link on the bottom to show you. Anyways, it's my computer's restarting now. And what I'm doing is I'm going to keep tapping the F8 key. And we're going to wait for the uh, configuration to pop up. Okay, here it comes. Okay, the advanced boot options. Okay. Now some of you may go into safe mode and this is not going to you're not going to be able to get into safe mode. And another way to do it is go into safe mode with command prompt. What we're going to do is type in one command and then we're going to get into the GUI, the graphical user interface. So I'm going to click on this. We're going to wait a while. Okay, now what you do is you simply you log in. Okay, now here we are. We are in safe mode with the command prompt. And this is for basically for, for those of you that cannot get in here directly just using the safe mode, uh, safe mode prompt. We, we, again, we use safe mode with command prompt. And now what we want to do is simply type in this command and this way we'll get into the GUI. Oops, sorry, it's EX Explorer. Explore.exe. Give it a second here. Oh, come on. There we go. I see some icons here on the bottom. There we go. Now there's something in the background. So I'm going to minimize this now. And what do you know? We're in the GUI now. And again, this is for you guys that couldn't get into regular safe mode. This is another option, another way to get you guys in there. Because sometimes the virus doesn't let you get into the safe mode. Going the the original path is going through with the safe the safe mode. So I'm going to uh, you can leave this window open. Now what you want to do is you want to go to restore. So you just click on the bottom here on the start menu, and there's, there's like a thousand ways to get into restore. Just type in restore. Restore, and then let's see what we have here. Okay, system restore. Here we go. Click on that. Restore system files and settings. Yes. Click on next down here. And I have an automatic restore point here. And what you can do is you can show more. So whatever your date was that you had this... Um, that you got infected with this FBI virus, you want to go to something that's before that. So I'm assuming you guys, there's no more than three days for any of you. So hopefully you have like an automatic restore point or another uh, restore point that you guys can go to. Um, and then what you do is you're going to click on next. Now the thing is for for you guys that uh, don't have any restore points in here, well, then you have to do the other way. You can do you can actually uh, remove it manually, or you can download a software and uninstall. So anyways, for you guys that do have a restore point, then you just click on next here. I uh, just pick on January 11th. And it says confirm your restore point. Yes. Okay, so once started, the system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Yes. Make sure your power is like plugged in. You don't want to have any any kind of issues or whatnot that the your, your computer shutting off while this is in place. I'm going to click on yes. Now it's logging off, shutting down. Now I'm gonna have to wait a while. And you know the system restore, uh, like I said, it's it's it, it it's basically gonna 
it's basically going to remove uh, any any programs that you installed uh, up to the, your restore point. So I mean, all your files, your videos, your documents, none of that stuff is going to be deleted. So some people think when you say think a system like restore is going to like restore an entire system and you're going to lose everything. You're not going to lose, like I said, your documents, videos, pictures, and whatnot. And we're going to probably wait here for a while. Um, everyone's time is going to be different on here depending on pretty much like how big your hard drive is, how fast your computer is, and whatnot. Okay, shutting down now. And the Windows is starting. And we're back up. I'm going to log in. And now I'm back into my system. And it says uh, system restored completely, successfully. Has been restored to January 11th. Your documents have not been affected. Okay, great. You just close that, and that's it, guys. You're done. Your virus is gone. Now, again, if you didn't have a restore point, there's other options. You can download software to do it. You can do it manually and whatnot. Thanks. Any questions, just give me a uh, comment on the bottom. Thanks.